but he's no Jay White. but now we're standing eye to eye in my ring in front of my beautiful pores. It's become very apparent to me why. You see, Jay, these people know better than anyone. I'm like a fine filet mignon. Thing about filet is it's its own thing. If it's on a plate, sure, you could have other crap surrounding it, but the plate's all about the filet. Much like when I'm inside this ring, the show is all about MJF because nobody is on the level. Because I'm a generational talent, babe. Jay, don't get me wrong, but however, even the smartest of wrestling fans, you've managed to confuse them into believing that you and I are on the same level. You've managed to convince them that you are also filet mignon, when in reality, Jay White, you're tofu. about tofu, Jay. It takes on the flavor of whatever you want it to, but you need to add something to it in order to trick yourself into believing it has taste. And Jay White, you have been given everything. All the finest spices, herbs, and accoutrement, the cool entrance, the cool nickname, the cool theme music, the cool t-shirts, big match opportunities. You were handed the keys to one of the greatest wrestling factions of all time. However, if I pluck it, all the way, I am left with nothing but boring, bland, tasteless tofu. And now here you are, Jay, trying to hop on my plate, steal some of the champ's flavor, huh? And you know what? I don't even mind, because I see through you, Jay. You're all hype. You are nothing more than an intelligently produced, mass-marketed vision of what someone in Japan thought was a top guy. So allow me to give you some advice from a real top guy. Here's the deal. If I were you, I would leave this ring and I damn sure wouldn't keep talking smack to my pores. Because if you don't, for the rest of your career, whenever our names are mentioned in the same sentence, it will read as follows. Sure, Jay White's good, but he's no Maxwell. Jacob Friedman, because I'm better than you. MJF experience. But I have to be honest with you, Max, I'm a little bit let down and.
Something's a little bit different, a little bit off about you these days. Personally, I don't know if it's the injuries, but I think you're a bit distracted with your new bromance with Adam Cole, baby! <laughs> Woo! Tell you what, I just love it when they do that. You say his name, they scream, baby! I bet you wish they would do that for you, but I just don't think they love you like they love Adam Cole. And you know this whole, this whole. He's their scumbag, Taz. Sure is. I forgot this slow hair. I have this, I'm talking, you guys, shh. Hey, 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 this whole situation with Adam Cole. If you think about it, it's, it's kind of my fault. Let me explain, you see, if I didn't temporarily end Adam Cole's career at Forbidden Door episode one, then maybe you don't develop a soft spot for him on his way back to the ring. Then you guys don't tag together, you don't become best buds, you don't become Ring of Honor tag team champions together, you don't have the Wembley main event together, you don't have him try to break your neck at Wembley. But hey, I guess you got him back because his ankle's broken and that was your fault. And I'm sure that your neck really isn't feeling good after Samoa Joe last week. So yeah, Max, I think I've been ruining your life from afar for a little while now. But good news, I'm here now, up close and personal, to ruin it in the flesh. You, you call yourself the devil. Nobody is on the level of the devil. Well, Mr. Devil, you need to find another level that does not exist for you in order to stop me from taking this from you. Because yeah, I'm taking the thing that matters the most from you. Kind of funny how the all elite wrestling world heavyweight champion doesn't seem so elite when compared to Switchblade Jay White. Number one asset in all of pro wrestling, the last rock and roller, the man that single-handedly sold out Madison Square Garden and the United Center. I'm King Switch, baby. I'm the only Grand Slam champion that matters. I'm high rolling in Denver with the Bang Bang Gang. I'm the catalyst of professional wrestling. And I, not you, I will be a truly elite champion when I peel this away from your carcass and then you can go and sulk and sob with all your loser paws because you're just like them. You're their scumbag! Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Don't worry, Maxi boy, at the end of the day, you will have they will have you, and I will have the Triple B, baby! And you can all breathe with the Switchblade, the new and true AEW World Heavyweight Champion, Switchblade Jay White, because it's still my era. This is the Switchblade era, because MJF, you've gone soft, and you know it. You don't have a goddamn clue what I'm capable of, so how about I show you? Oh, MJF squaring up the switchblade, Jay White. And MJF's got a handicap match this Sunday, Taz. Yeah, I think Max has got to kind of get his head going here a little bit. I think Jay White is trying to reel him in a little bit here. And MJF's got to be a little bit smarter than this. But I'll tell you this right now, that Jay White switchblade, he is a serious, a serious competitor towards that AEW World title.